David here with Fig Food on Pens, back with something completely different. Today, we're here to play a little game, a battle royale, if you will, a battle between pen companies. I'll explain more as this progresses, but all you need to know in order to get started is that this is a simulation game called Ages of Conflict, uh, and I have assigned pen companies uh, to at random to each of the contiguous U.S. states, sorry Alaska and Hawaii. Um, once I start playing this game, it will become a little bit more uh, obvious what's going on, uh, but uh, what will happen is that uh, individual states will start wars, they'll make alliances, they'll take over land, and eventually we will just have one company remaining, who is king of them all. Uh, now, once we get started here, there's going to be a lot going on. It's rather hectic in the early stages, so I'll do my best to keep up with the commentary, but you'll be able to see a dialogue of what's happening here in the lower left-hand corner. So let's go ahead and start this and see what happens. And as I mentioned before, I just kind of assigned everyone individually or into, uh, randomly to, uh, to each individual state. But let's go ahead and get this started. And what you're going to see happen here is each individual state has gold. Uh, and as that gold gets higher, the more land they have, the, uh, the more gold that they'll have or be able to uh, produce. Uh, and then they'll be able to use that to start battles. And you can see that Ryan Krusak and Montegrappa are going at it right now. Uh, and that the, a number of uh, companies have already formed alliances. Carolina Pen Company and Pelican have formed an alliance. Uh, and soon we might see an individual company fall. You can see here how Namiki is taking over some of Scribo's land. Uh, and if you, they end up capturing the capital, then you get all of their land. Up oh, looks like Danny Trio was conquered by Monteverde. Oh, and then Platinum was con conquered by Pen 18111. So Yoshi is out there uh, doing some hard work. Uh, Nakaya over here in Estherbrook. See, if Estherbrook loses their capital, then they're going to lose the entire state. Though, once things get larger, you can move your capital. I think if you have enough land, you can move your capital. Looks like they're being attacked on two fronts between Pilot and Nakaya. Up, oh, Scribo was conquered by Panayar. Up, oh, looks like Nakaya then. Uh, oh, actually, Nakaya was, uh, uh, it, it took over Estherbrook. That's what happened. Oh, and then uh, Opus 88 conquered Mad, or was conquered by Mad Science Pen Company. Uh, Omas was taken over by Enso, Monteverde by Visconti. Uh, and you can see how this is happening, uh, how this is playing out. Oh, Enso, Dip, Enso just took over Diplomat. Christoph took out Narwhal. Uh, Carolina Pen Company, sorry Jonathan, looks like Edison and Brian Gray is just about to conquer you, and uh, unfortunately they have. Looks like Paniter is starting to uh, get a nice foothold here in the uh, center part of the, con uh, of the country. Oh, Visconti is moving over into Sailor's region, and boom, they just went ahead and took them over. Uh, Montegrappa is making some inroads into SD DuPont. And they were able to take them over. And Brian Gray is starting to really expand down here through Texas, uh, taking over more of Twisby as well as Pen 8111. Oh, Kasama was uh, taken over by Franklin Kristoff. Same with uh, Delta. Uh, the Franklin Kristoff is starting to establish itself more in the Mid South. I, as well as Wancher. Wancher that just really quickly took over Heinz Pen Company as well as Conid. So we're starting to settle out a bit more and you can see how the gold is increasing for some of these companies that haven't been at war. But Edison just went out and took over a couple of other companies. They took over Twisby as well as Pen 18111. So uh, they have really gained a strong foothold here in the middle of the country. Magna Carta was taken over by Paniter, and Paniter is starting to get a bit more in the middle as well. Uh, they're 
oh boy, they just took over Montegrappa and they're uh, making their way against Ryan Krusak, but Ryan actually looks like he has a friend in Newton pens. Uh, what happens is if they have an alliance, then they can actually send money from one to the other. Oh, and it looks like uh, Ryan just took over, Mont uh, took over Mont Blanc. So that was impressive. Uh-oh, who just did that? Oh, Franklin Kristoff. Franklin Kristoff was able to take over Paniter, and so they just uh, increased their foothold by a bunch. You can actually see here on the on this uh, tab here how much gold they have. So uh, Nakaya has the most, but then Franklin Kristoff is not that far behind. But Edison has the most land. But that looks like it's quickly decreasing as they're getting attacked on multiple areas, on multiple fronts. Looks like Kilk is trying to make some inroads here against Pilot and not having much luck there. Uh, Parker is just kind of chilling out here in the main design or main area. Same with Shown Design and Leonardo and Karis. They're just not much they're doing much up there, just kind of chilling. Uh, looks like here that there's a, a an alliance between all of this group of companies here and that they were all attacking on the same front. Oh, Kilk was able to take over Pilot and make some significant inroads towards Nakaya. Uh, Newton is just holding on. Looks like they might. Yep. Oh, Edison took over Newton. Sorry, Sean. Oh, looks like Edison making some uh, moves on Conklin as well and very close to being able to get to them as well and expand even further west. So Brian is just really asserting his dominance at this point in time. Looks like Namiki might. Yep, Namiki just got taken over by Visconti. Uh, and we haven't had much consolidation up here in the, uh, the northeast. I would expect that something's going to happen there soon. Oh, Leonardo just decided to assert its dominance and uh, was able to take out Shown Design. So sorry about that, Ian. Uh, it looks like Ian didn't, unfortunately, put up much of a fight there. Edison and Nakaya are going at it, and seems like uh, whoever wins that might have a, a strong foothold here in the West. But they're holding on. Uh, Kilk is trying to hold on as well up here. How are we doing on gold? Looks like Franklin Kristoff has been uh, amassing some gold here. And so they're kind of uh, uh, going to assert themselves. They're trying to get over here to Ryan Krusak uh, and are very close to doing so. Uh, they're almost splitting him in two here. Oh, they were able to complete the takeover there. Uh, and now they're kind of going out on all fronts using the fact that they have more gold than everybody else. Uh, and trying to make some more significant inroads here on the west rather than going up in the east, where it looks like Visconti has kind of consolidated things a bit. But Parker is hanging out here in the, uh, uh, in the main area, and uh, uh, eventually something's going to need to happen with them. Uh, Kilk up here in the northwest uh, is just barely holding on. It looks like Nakaya and Kilk had ended their uh, alliance, and so Nakaya is trying to take that over, that area over. And Pelican is holding strong here in the middle, as well as, well as Faber-Castell. Uh, and Wancher is just about to lose Florida region down here to Franklin Kristoff, who is really starting to just eliminate other companies one by one. Oh, it looks like, oh, it looks like uh, Franklin Kristoff is asserting its dominance and had a, an alliance with Kilk uh, and has really strengthened its takeover. And there we have Kilk that has just taken over Nakaya. That was a rather aggressive turn. Uh, but now I think the members of this alliance are having to turn against one another. And it looks like Pelican is probably going to be the next to, uh, to go here. Franklin Kristoff right now is kind of asserting its dominance. It has significantly more gold than everybody else, uh, as well as the uh, area of land. Uh, and so it would take kind of something monumental for them to lose their foothold at this point in time. But 
we'll see if they actually spread themselves too weak. I've seen that happen before where, a com where uh, they spread themselves too thin and then uh, the other com com uh, companies and uh, areas are able to come in and take them over. So let's see. So we have Kilk right now, who is strong here in the West, Visconti and Parker. Parker really hasn't done that much up here in the Northeast. But Visconti has been able to uh, get a strong foothold there. And so I think right now everyone is basically just regrouping. And before that they can then attack again. And it looks like Franklin Kristoff has gotten aggressive against Kilk and is just about to uh, end them right now. Uh, they did move their capital, but then they were able to uh, go ahead and finish that. When you see the little doves, that means that they uh, declared peace against each other. So sometimes they battle until they run out of gold, and then they want to go ahead and call peace. So right now, it looks like they're amassing gold, but Franklin Kristoff has a significant... Well, Visconti actually has a roughly the same amount of gold, but with more land, Franklin Kristoff is going to uh, uh, gather gold at a little bit of a higher rate. So we'll see what happens here as they, uh, you know, right now I think Franklin Kristoff is looking good in regard to being able to amass uh, some strength up here in the, the, north, the, the northeast and push Visconti out as well as then get to Parker, who has just been chilling up here and really hasn't done that much. I believe that they, oh, Parker and Visconti formed an alliance and they saw, they wanted to see if together then they could make a dent into Franklin Kristoff and they weren't that successful. So I have a feeling that it is just an inevitability at this point in time that Franklin Kristoff is going to take over everything. So we'll see if they can make some inroads. How are they looking on gold? Still more gold and slowly eating into Visconti. But you can see Parker sending over some money, but Parker or gold, Parker is almost out of gold. Visconti is quickly running out of gold as well. Uh, Franklin Kristoff looks a little bit more uh, well off in regard to gold, maybe over twice as much. I think they're gonna chill for a second and try to get some more uh, gold before they attack each other again but I have a feeling that Franklin Kristoff is going to finish this off here in a short period of time once they've amassed enough gold to uh, make some significant inroads into Visconti. Uh, we'll see if Visconti moves their capital or if they're able to just go into this peninsula and go ahead and, uh, and conquer that, and then all that's left would be Parker. Oh, it looks like Visconti has abandoned their partnership with Parker and uh, and just finished them off. So they abandoned their alliance with Parker and decided to go at it alone and go ahead and remove them. So now it's down to just two, Franklin Kristoff and Visconti. How are we looking on area? Obviously, Franklin Kristoff has significantly more area. Uh, but Visconti is not necessarily poor. They're hanging in there, uh, but I think they're basically just going to amass gold and then fight again, and we'll see who can come out on top and see if Visconti here, who's significantly the underdog, uh, who made some very nice inroads there, to see if they can then end up uh, challenging Franklin Kristoff. You'll see if for some reason Visconti gets close to the Franklin Kristoff uh, capital here, then it will actually kind of move. Unless they don't have enough gold, there it moved again, there it moved again, but Visconti is coming back from the precipice of losing and is making some significant inroads. And if they can capture that capital, they might just take this thing. I don't know how often you can move your capital. Oh! There we have it. Visconti came back. I thought it was going to be an inevitability that Franklin Kristoff was going to hang in there, but Visconti was, uh, kind of held on to their resources uh, and then was able to uh, run an attack on Franklin Kristoff and finish them off. So that was something I thought was just a little bit fun. Uh, if you want to see some stuff like this, again, let me know in the comments below. 
but uh, maybe we can do other battles uh, and, uh, and things like that. But I thought this was something that would just be just fun. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.